so this is this is something that's required. Uh, we renew it every five years. Um, what's that time? <laughs> so I think really all that's changed is the the numbers have been updated for population. Yeah, that was well, I don't. I don't believe the numbers on population, <laughs> especially when you say twenty seventy. The number there, it's like no, the same. Yeah. 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 Jim, I have a, I have a question, and I, I think it, it kind of pertains to the drought management, but I would like for us to, to hear from the Prairie Land groundwater people what they are seeing in the broader area for water usage and as it relates to our plans and what you know what what we see and i just I'd, I'd love to hear them come and give us a presentation of what they see in a broad area for us as it relates to our water demand i know we're going to have our little scary uh, yeah, it, it, that's, it, what we need. Yes. that's that's exactly what i want to hear we, we, I've heard Mr. Jowson say before, like water tables don't know county lines, right? Noise pollution doesn't recognize city limits. And so we're sitting here trying to make decisions and one thing should talk about earlier was getting information in front of us to help us make better decisions. And we're making our decisions based on what we're doing here, but we, we need to know what's happening to the same folks in the areas that are pulling on the same places we're pulling on to be able to make a good decision. I'm getting nervous. Hey, Jim, maybe you can uh, educate me a little bit on, on leak detection issues and more importantly, how we, because I mean, obviously we're talking about drought issues, but uh, you know, we had an issue at the expo uh, a month or two back where, where thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of water got utilized on a leak um and i guess the first question would be you know why wasn't it recognized sooner do we have some somebody monitoring the amount of usages and if they see an excessive amount um, that's, that's are they notifying exactly how it happened because i mean we've also had it happen on, on residences so I, I, yeah so know. when we read meters um she runs a report and if the consumption changes by so many gallons, then she calls, just a courtesy call to let them know, like, hey, we think something's wrong. Or how so, often does she pull a report or how often? Well, we read, when we read meters monthly, so. so. So we could be basically be going over a whole month with, with a nice leak and not know it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you think daily checks? Well, I mean, uh, weekly I, checks wouldn't be necessarily an offer. I mean, it, it could be. I've been the beneficiary of one of those calls, I too. Have a team Thank you so much. Um, so they do help because I would not have known otherwise. Um, but it also clearly had been for a while because my bill was doubled. So, which means the water usage was double. So I think to your point is, could we potentially look, maybe even if we identify larger usage clients? Or is there a way to, is there another... A uh, more efficient way to to than somebody actually having to just pull a report. Is there a more efficient way? Yeah, I mean, there's there's different uh, there's there's meters, smart meters that um, alarm. I mean, you can you can look at that stuff daily just by pushing a button and looking at it. But they're expensive and it would take a long time to to get them installed. And, they're cellular based, um, way more expensive. They're way expensive. But I mean, it's, it's. Could it be something that we would. That, I mean, well, obviously, you spend, drug, spend money on a, on a meter, but I mean, water is pretty important. So. Could, could it be something that we, that we place on our largest users and, and, Therefore, if we caught something, it would be alarmed quicker. Like, for instance, at the expo. Yeah. Or required a new development. I mean, you could make a case to somebody like the expo that an investment from them might be worth it if you can avoid paying a $40,000 water bill. 
I mean, uh, even working with what we have, is there potentially a way for us to identify our big users and say, these folks we're going to check weekly, these five top you users? Can. I mean, it's not easy when, when we're, we're understaffed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so yeah. We're yeah. Right. I do not yeah. think we have the ability. That's why I said more efficient. I didn't want yeah. yeah. to yeah. try to add workload. Yeah. Just something for us to consider. I mean, at some okay. point, the homeowner and the EXO, EXPO people that run it have a responsibility themselves to go check. Well, you know, I'm, well, I'm, I'm concerned about the EXPOs. I'm, I'm kind of more concerned about the citizens, right? Because, yeah. you know, we're, people are trying to make ends meet, they're trying to live, to, you know, with inflations and everything else. I'm more concerned about the Joe citizen yeah. well, getting a, a two or three times. This is not even about the money, it's about yeah. serve and walk. Yeah. Right, right. And that's that's yeah. why I'm saying yeah. we can not have leaks. We yeah. You know, or detect them sooner, right. we can mitigate some of this. Right. There's just something for us to add to. Just something to think about. It's, it's, maybe, it's maybe to think I mean, about. we can explore different options on the capabilities of our meters for sure. I mean, that's the new thing is everybody's switching to cellular base. But, and with that, you don't need as much manpower. You just, it would be building clutter. Well, it also, you know, some of the new apps that are available allow the consumer to check those. Yes. You know, they can check it every week, you know, mm -hmm. which, you know, if you find a leak in that time frame, yeah. it's going to save you a lot more money than letting it go for the whole month. Yeah. You know? I wonder, I mean, is there, could we offer it to a resident? Like, this is the new technology. If you want it, you can purchase it. We've got a group rate. I don't know. Well, our system being compatible with it is the big issue. So, right. I think, I think yeah. the biggest hurdle is the, the billing software. Yeah. At this point, they want it to be cellular based or not. Right. You can't integrate. It doesn't integrate. And <laughs> there, may be so, there may be billing software that, that does allow that, but yeah. I don't think ours currently does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Any ideas on the uh, discussion and consideration of the plan? No, I appreciated the, the various stages and trigger points that you had identified. Yeah. I definitely read them in those quite extensively to figure out, you know, not only the activation but deactivation. Right. I think this coincides with the water district, depending on what. For purchasing water or not at the time. We need a motion to adopt. I'll make the motion to adopt as presented. Second. All in favor? Five zero. 